Hey guys, Steve, Hobo with Wood, coming at you with a short, Did You Know? Okay, so today I am engraving pencils, and I am in the process of designing a jig, and I haven't got all the bugs worked out yet, so I'm, I'm still, uh, and honestly, even with the jig being spot on, with the, with the non-conformity and the irregularity of the pencils, uh, the shape, the curvature, I think a jig might even be a little challenging, but I'm engraving pencils and right now I'm going to show you what's going through to do this and show you, did you know? Right now the laser is in its home position. I'm going to step over here and hit frame. Now the laser has to jog from home all the way over to the pencil and frame that pencil. Now once it's through framing and I'm satisfied and that looks good, I'm going to burn it. It parks right there ready to engrave. All right, so I'm going to hit my engrave and let's burn this pencil. But the part about did you know is none of this, because obviously you know all this, but once this finishes its burn, then I've got my laser program to, you know, upon finishing, go to, I think it's 2020, instead of going to its home position it goes to a fixed position every time of 2020 because I don't like the lack of limit switches or on this so if you don't set up a defined spot for it to stop it just goes bounces back hits that back rail and bounces and sometimes it bounces harder than others depending on where you drag change that but then I come to a defined stop at 2020 that's one did you know but now once I finish this pencil and I'm set up and I put in my next one and I'm ready to go with it, I have to go hit frame and check and because every, I, I have to adjust my wording every once in a while because the curvature of these pencils and the inaccuracy of repeated movement with this machine, it can be off a fraction and when you're talking about uh, a, uh, a work area. Come on, focus. Wow. Come on, focus. There we go. That small, well, if you're off, you know, even, you know, just a couple of, you know, a, a millimeter or so, then you're way out of frame. So let's hit frame again. And now that laser has to jog all the way back over here to this and check the frame and let me check and pay attention and that that looks good too all right so now i'm gonna uh go over here to the laser and what we're going to do is i'm going to go to the laser move tab and i'm going to come right up here and i'll jog up Right now, when it, it's already finished framing and it's ready to start engraving, but right now I'm gonna move it up. One, two, three. And now let's go look and see where the laser moved to. Now the laser is clear of the pencil. I can lift that pencil, put in another one, and be ready to do the next burn, and the laser not jog all the way back over there. So that makes better sense, right? Well, how do we get it to go to that position every time instead of going all the way back over there? Real simple. Set, finish, position. I now have that laser above and out of the way, so I click on set, finish, position, done. But you notice there, the laser just said, oop, instead of way back over here. Now I'm ready to drop in a pencil. Line her up. Check my frame. And hit start. So, did you know you can change your finish position 
right there on the laser move tab. Now, I'm gonna show you what you have to do. Uh, once you've completed the job and you're on to your next project, get your pinky out of the way, you're on to your next project and you don't want that laser going there any longer. Well, you come up here to your wrench and screwdriver and right there, return to finish position. I normally have that value set at 2020. That way it's not bouncing off the back rail. It comes to the same position, every, same stop position every time. So it's the closest I can have to a rerun of the, the same job repetitive over and over and have the burn in the same or approximately the exact same place. You don't have that kind of accuracy if you don't set a return to finish position value. And by doing that little shortcut I just showed you in jogging up after a burn, then hit your set finish position, that will set the current values you're at as your new finish position and you can do that repeatedly and save a lot of time with your laser not having to jog back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, did you know? This has been Hobo. See you in the next video.